Sky Girls, my name is Tapo and today I'm going to share with you something that's a little bit more practical. Did you know that a lot of girls miss out in school when they're on their periods just because they can't afford pads? But did you also know that reusable pads are a safe, hygienic and sustainable option for you when you're on your periods? Now my thing is DIY, but my thing is also helping a sister out. So today I'm going to teach you how to make reusable sanitary pads. So the first thing you're gonna need is a pad, which we're gonna use as a stencil to mark out our pad, which we're gonna make. You will also need some fleece and a piece of chitenge or any other fabric that's made out of cotton. You also need a marker and a pair of scissors, okay? Now, to begin with, you're going to cut out a 9 by 9 inch square of the fleece material, just like this one we have over here. And you're going to place that aside. We're going to use it a little bit later. Then you're going to get your pad and place it on the fleece, making sure it fits just about right. Once you're done marking it out, it's gonna look something like this. And then you're gonna grab your scissors and begin to cut it out. So once you're done, you should have a cutout that looks something like this. And we're going to grab our cutout and place it on our piece of fabric. In this case, we're using chitenge. You want to make sure that you're placing it on the outside of the chitenge, not the inner part. We're going to cut that out once again into a square where it just about fits. Once you've cut out your square piece of chitenge, what you want to do is take your pad outline, the fleece pad outline, and use this now as a stencil. But this time we're going to do it on the inside of the chitenge. Place it down and we're going to mark it with our marker. So now you should have something that looks like this on the inside of your chitenge or fabric. Okay, and we're gonna take our scissors and cut this out. Once again, once you're done, you should have a piece of chitenge that looks like this. So now we should have three pieces. Your chitenge, your fleece, and your other piece of fleece. This is what we're going to use as the absorbent of the pad. And we're gonna take it and place it right in the center, right there, leaving some space at the top and some space at the bottom. Then you're going to sew it on and sew the new piece onto the chitenge material, making sure you're leaving just a little bit of space on the outline. So now that we've sewed the absorbent onto the fleece outline, we have one piece. We're going to take this one piece and sew it onto our chitenge outline. Once you've gone all the way around the edge of your fleece, you must make sure you've left a tiny little space here, which we're going to use to flip the whole entire pad inside out. We call this the working space. Flip the whole entire pad inside out. And we have the outside of the fleece and the outside of the chitenge on the outside. Finalize our pad, we are going to sew all the way around the edge of the pad to close it once and for all. So once you've sewn all around the pad, what you want to do is get a button to sew onto the leaf of the pad. So we will be able to pin it onto the other side. 
okay so once you've sewed your button on one side of the wing you're going to make a slit on the other wing so you can fasten the button and we are done there you have it sky girls we have made our very own reusable sanitary pad once you're done you can just fold it that was a lot easier than i expected but that's the thing i love about diy you never know how easy something is until you try it don't forget to send in your diy projects so we can feature them on our stay true tv show or on our social media platforms we love that well guys as much as we would love to stay forever we just can't don't be like that in Shimonia. silver lining always We'll be back next week, so don't miss us too much. Happy Independence, Sky Girls. And if you haven't yet gotten your copy of our Sky Magazine, The Freedom Issue, head over to our website and read it online. Or you can get a free copy at our arcade store. Until next time, bye.